And in the end, attention is upstream of everything. Every business we're in, what we're doing now is capturing attention on YouTube. And that becomes a business. Attention is what Google, Facebook, X, everything has been built on. Everything is now based on attention. So I get it now that even investing is just based on attention. Because before, Google were monetizing our attention. So we put this on YouTube. They serve the ads. You get a small fraction. You don't make much money from the ads. Well, they make a lot of money. And then over time, you're seeing that people are saying, well, if I can capture attention, I can get the direct benefit. And we can participate in, in mass attention by tokens. It's actually, it's very interesting. It's the start of something bigger, but it's only the start. In a recent video conversation with Scott Melker from The Wolf of All Streets, Raul Pal expressed a positive outlook on the cryptocurrency market, diving into the concept of the banana zone. He believes the crypto market is poised for explosive growth, particularly in Q4 of this year and into the next. Pal sees Layer 1 blockchain projects as having the potential for significant gains, similar to Solana's performance in the previous cycle. At the time of this discussion, Bitcoin is priced around $64,000, with a slight decrease of under 1% in the last 24 hours and a 2% decrease over the last seven days. Despite these minor fluctuations, Bitcoin has shown a 47% increase year to date. Pal emphasized the importance of understanding the broader implications of blockchain technologies and the opportunities they present. The, the story I've been trying to explain to people is you've got to understand what this space is about. Blockchain technology is a new technology layer of the internet, of which there's a bunch of decentralized businesses that sell block space. And they all have a different angle of why to buy their block space. Bitcoin is, we're the most secure, we can be used as money or a reserve asset. Ethereum's, hey, anybody can build on us. We're like this big open computing network. Solana's like, yeah, we can do that too, but we're kind of super fast and super cheap. Everyone's just selling block space and they have a different story to tell to attract people. And that's all that's really going on here. People turn it into some fight over money. That's Bitcoin story, but it's not the whole industry story. What is this all about? Attention. What are elections all about? Attention. Who, what's got a lot of attention? Cryptocurrency. And it also happens to have a lot of money because it's based on this participation in this ecosystem via the tokens. And therefore, there's no way that they go to an election and try and alienate 50 million people. I mean, that's dumb. So I, I guess they finally understood because Whoa. Trump showed it, rammed it down their throat. I think the Democrats figured out that there are many single issue voters because we're all financially incentivized to participate in this ecosystem. But if you're going to vote against me, you're voting against me and my future wealth or my future self. And so that is a big thing. People vote with their pocketbooks. I mean, that's the oldest thing in, in politics. And I think suddenly they realized that this was not the right way forward to allow it to go to Donald Trump as a single issue vote. That would be a landslide loss because all the marginal seats would get lost. So now they need to take it out and neutralize it, which is great for us. Lot. You know, don't hang on to that stuff because that's the narrative you're left with. It doesn't mean they're terrible things, but look, attention flows to the shiny thing. Attention flows where more people are. Um, now, can we have one of those altcoin seasons? Yes, but there's more of them. So you're splitting that attention and that capital amongst more projects. Because every cycle, you leave a bunch behind. Like, EOS didn't run last cycle, really. You know, stuff gets left behind. So you have to be really careful, which is why I, I say just don't play that game. Don't play the value trap game, which is, oh, my God, that's still down. And last time it was so strong, I need to own that. It's like it's actually a bull market to just own the strong thing because that goes up a lot because it actually is like a super massive black hole of attention. And the more attention, more number go up. Less attention, less so. So unless a huge narrative shift happens to Matic, this, if this is not going to get the attention that Solana is going to get or Ethereum or Bitcoin or whatever. Of course, I mean, it's like the NF NFTs last time around. You know, what you've got is excess saturation of supply building. Doesn't mean you won't have breakouts. Doesn't mean you won't have kind of a king of memes 
that uh, survives all of this. Um, we saw that with NFTs, but what it is is a total grab going on now. Anybody and 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 everybody is launching a token to see if they can make some money, and all they're doing is destroying their own market. So the returns of these things go down over time, apart from the ones that actually break out. What they're going to be? Who the hell knows? You know, again, we'll find out once we go to the once we get to the banana zone, we'll really see. Yeah, exactly. And we've seen that over the last couple of weeks, right? They just plummet like a stone because, you know, it's it's very emotion driven. If people <clears throat> are seeing the layer ones chopping, consolidating, a few sell offs here and there, they kind of panic out of the meme stuff. So, you know, you can really see where the risk curve is. But when the banana zone comes, people will just go way too far out the risk curve and we'll see some really crazy stuff happening then. The election cycle in crypto, now we only have, you know, four of these, but they tend to do the same thing, which was early summer into this June period, they tend to chop and fall, then it tends to just go up. Uh, and there'll be a, you know, a couple of corrections en route. So it should just keep going up again with volatility. So that's why I put out that tweet about Solana feels like the low is in who knows whether I'm right or not. It feels like the low is in sentiment was awful. I think the chances are that um, it just continues to rise now and then really accelerates as we get into the election. You're back. As we conclude hearing Raul Pal views, he emphasized the importance of not missing out on the potential banana zone by making poor investment choices. He stresses the need to focus on assets showing relative strength and to be cautious of holding on to underperforming investments simply due to past performance. We would love to hear your thoughts. Do you agree with the concept of the banana zone and its potential impact on crypto markets? Do you agree that increased attention is crucial for faster adoption in the crypto industry? We believe that in the crypto, blockchain, and Web3 space, our collective goal is to increase attention and drive adoption. By sharing valuable insights and educational content, we aim to contribute to the growth and understanding of this innovative industry. Thank you for tuning in to the Only the Savvy channel. If you found value in this discussion, please subscribe, like, and share our video. Your support helps us continue providing engaging content that explores the dynamic world of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. We don't know, but just don't fight with one hand behind your back. Don't try and prove a point to the market. That's not your job. Your job is to make as much money as possible out of this technological transformation. You know, if this space is going from two and a half trillion dollars to a hundred trillion dollars, which is I think it's doing, your job is to not f that up. And people try really hard to f it up, either too much leverage, so then they're taken out. They go too far out the risk curve with too much of their capital, and then they blow up. Or they get stuck in stuff that is not moving because they're not just trying to participate in the, in the bigger part of the growth, which is usually in the larger projects. So, you know, you've, we're trying to get from two and a half trillion to a hundred trillion. You need to stay that ride and not end up looking back and realizing you've made no money from it. And, and that trick is just look at the charts relative to each other. You know, like and then I'm start doing that, that. it's really useful because then it stops you building your own narrative around, well, you know, this token is definitely going to be the one. Then you look at it versus Solana, it's down 99.9%. .9%. You're like, okay, I'm trying to kid myself. Because you're looking for this chart breakout on the hourly chart, hoping it's going to base here. It's like, don't do that, please. Just buy the strongest assets. I, I tried in the previous cycle to buy a whole bunch of stuff. That didn't work either. Um, because half of these were dead. The stuff I owned, I mean, like, nobody even knows what they are. I, and I just read the descriptor on you know, coin gecko or something. I thought, yeah, that sounds cool. It's dumb shit. We've all done all of the dumb shit. And really, I should have just, you know, you, you just concentrate in the right things.